Hi everybody, welcome to Gunpla TV. Sponsored by Hobbling Japan. As you can see, Ryan's not here. He's actually in Africa right now. No, I'm not. I'm right here, Sid. Can't you see? Ryan, when they're watching this, you're going to be in Africa, all right? Work with me here, okay? We've already talked about this. Where are you going to be? <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to be making this video and approving comments. Anyway, today is a special episode. You know, Ryan is not here. So I took it upon myself to, uh, with this episode, answer some of the questions that people have been asking. And a few people have asked me, what are my top five Master Grade kits? So here it is. Gumpa TV today is Sid's list of the top five Master Grade kits. So starting at number five, it is the Master Grade Zaku 2 2.0. So Sid, why is it such a great Master Grade kit? Well, let me tell you. It's because there's so many of them. That's, uh, to start off with, I mean, you can get the this Master Grade kit, a 2.0, uh, with uh, just this size. It's only, um, I mean, Bandai's retail price is 3,500 yen. So, of course, it's less than that with our, our price. And uh, with that, you get the standard Zaku, as you can see. Along with, uh, you get his uh, weapons here and there. And I'm going to flip it around here to show you just how articulate here these uh, 2.0 suits are. And from there, I mean, we have the, this is the J, this is the J suit, and of course here's the F, you know, it's the flight suit, so it's got a slightly different backpack. And uh, even in that price range, there is the, uh, the S here, this is Char's, right? The S, and there's actually a uh, Johnny Ridden as well, as well as a White Ogre. However, a thousand yen more from, is what Bandai wants to charge, they'll give you the, two, the, the large size 2.0, and this is the mine layer, and basically it comes with different backpacks here, different backpack on here with all the mines, so that's cool. And uh, these big box one, big box, uh, they're all around the 4,500 yen price range, which is what Ben asked for you. Our price is less, of course. This is the uh, the the black tri stars here, and it's got the same uh, another cool backpack, as well as uh, different armor parts for the legs. But I would have to say that my favorite uh, Zaku 2, 2.0, is Shin Matsunaga's. So here's Mr. Shin Matsunaga right here. And he's, he's got the same armor as the black Tri-Stars. But we've got this baby right here. You're going to get the Heat Hawk, the Heat Hawk and the uh, Zaku Machine Gun and the uh, Zaku Bazooka. And I've actually got B-Club hands on here, which is why it's kind of frozen in there. But you can see, like, uh, just the uh, the por proportions on this thing are amazing. And if you look at all the little individual hose pieces they give you, there's actually springs in here that uh, move when the suit moves. And uh, this is plastic inside here. And uh, this actually, the Shin Matsunaga, is one of the few suits that comes with some water slide decals. So you get water slide decals for uh, the shoulder and the shield. Now the ones that I have on here are slightly different, but the ones that are included in the kit, if you can see, are actually quite good. Okay, so that's number five on Sid's list of uh, top five master grades. It's the Zaku 2 2.0. If you like the Zaku and you like the uh, 2.0 kits, be sure to check it out. And now we're gonna move on to number four. Okay, now we're at number four, top five master grade kits. This one uh, took me a little bit to sort out. There was a couple up there in my list. Uh, but uh, the fourth one, the one that gets fourth place, is going to be the Master Grade Epion from Gundam Wing. Sid, I have seen this somewhere before. That's right, Ryan. We've showed it on this show. And here he is. This is the Epion from Gundam Wing. Now, uh, the last year, 2011, really focused on the uh, Master Grade Gundam Wing EW kits. And I think that the best one of them all is the Epion. You know, it has a slightly different frame. It can't use the same frames as the other kits in that in that line, so Bandai had to totally do that. But uh, what makes this kit special to me, you know, of course, is got these kind of lines. These are all separate parts, and the way it's put together, you don't have to worry about painting. If uh, You can get the effect without worrying about applying stickers that sometimes Bandai has you do. And of course, these wings are really awesome. By pulling down on here, you get the... Come on, baby. Maybe it's this one. By pulling down in here, the wing will pop open. 
like this but you have to be careful because if you pull at the wrong spot it can break so please keep that in mind and uh, I think this kit looks exceptional because of all these little armor pieces that it has sticking out of it of the corners here on the legs and quite possibly the coolest thing of it is that it transforms now we've shown it here on the show I don't need to get into that but uh, we will show you the weapons again because they are great now these weapons this one comes with the this somewhat flexible pipe you can plug it in there and he can hold on to his his, his beam weapon here but this is uh, probably the cooler one the shield here now what makes this I think really cool and something that I hadn't seen until the Epion was that if you have these pushed in it's very straight right it's very stiff but uh, when you want it to use as a chain like weapon that it is you can just pull it out pop 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 and then you can get this kind of motion with it it's actually really really great the way they did this design is is really well done and it's not a problem just to line it up and then pop them all back in again there it is so Gundam Epion is my choice for number four and I'm glad to see that it got in there and represents the wing because I'm a big fan of the wing kits so with number four out of the way it's time to move on to number three so this next selection is going to generate some controversy really controversy in Gundam land yeah you never hear about controversy in Gundam right well then if that's the case then this is going to be a no-brainer my uh, number three pick for the top five master grades is the age one Sid, why did you choose that one? Yeah, that's a good question, Ryan, and really there's only one answer. Check that out. This kit can do anything. With the way they've designed the frame, which is completely unlike the frames of any previous Master Grades, this kit can stand in almost any position. And I had a lot of fun just playing with this guy. You can totally turn him around, get him standing in some funky poses, get him down on one knee here. He's still good to go. This is, this, just for articulation alone, this kit might be number one. And uh, another thing that brought it up in my eyes is uh, the uh, panel lining. If you look at how they've done all these panel lines in here, you can get in here with a marker and it's very easy to bring out all of these little details. Add to it the fact that uh, Bandai has supplied you with their stickers. All these markings you see are stickers and dry transfers, but the majority are those stickers and uh, they go on so well they're easy to keep on place and just by throwing a top coat on uh, you don't even know they're stickers they often look like the dry transfers or a water slide and I have to say that uh, just for playing you know posing this kit is might be the number one on top of the leaderboard and one thing that I need to mention about this kit and I mentioned on the show before is uh, one thing I don't like about mastery hit kits is uh, the the exchangeable hands and uh, they have those in abundance with the age one but these are awesome they work so fantastic they're easy to swap out the way they've created the grooves here uh, let me get one that's supposed to fit here the way they've created the grooves uh, they, they just stay in you put them in there pop they're done they stay and uh, they hold the gun properly they hold the beam savers properly the way that the uh, shield attaches back here you put it in gunk it's a little bit difficult to get in out, but once you do, it's not going to go anywhere. Just one second here. We'll pop this baby in. I got to be gentle with this guy because I just finished painting him. Pop. So once you get the the shield in, you can have him move it around in these kind of positions. Uh, these kind of positions. And other than uh, some of the frames going together like an HG would. It holds up pretty well. Like this guy can do some pretty crazy stuff. I don't know if he's going to do this, but I'm going to try. But now we move on to number two. All right, this brings us to number two. Now, number two and number one, they're kind of interchangeable depending on how I feel. Uh, they can go back and forth, but I had to settle on something. So I've decided that number two of my top five Master Grade kits is going to be... The Shinanji. Oh, Sid, I'm actually surprised that uh, your choice is not number one. Yeah, well, um, I am a little bit too. I spent some time thinking about this, and of course, uh, this might be the, the kit that I enjoyed building the most when it comes to modifications, of course, and we've had the yellow bird on the show before. Uh, 
but as a model kit and the amount of stuff you get in the box, it's pretty crazy. We'll put this guy over here for a second so you can witness it. It's like watching your birth, isn't it there? I'm just gonna open up this box and just look at just not only the amount of plastic, but the size of the pieces and then all the extra stuff you're getting for say weapons, yeah, more beam stuff. You get springs in here. It's just like looking at that red, it's such a nice kit. And uh, of course, we can't talk about the beast that is the uh, Master Grade Shenange without talking about the markings. Now you get these gold foil stickers, you get these water slide stickers, which are an option, and you get all these dry transfers. And it is a lot of work, especially dry transfers. If you make a mistake, yeah, you're doomed. And there's just so many of these things to go on. Now, uh, when the Master Grade uh, Shenanjo arrived, uh, not long afterwards, they released the water slide decals and then they sold out immediately. Water slide decals are a little bit more forgiving than dry transfers when it comes to uh, moving them around to find the perfect position. And uh, they sold so quickly and there was a period of time there where you could not get them. Well, I'm happy to report that Bandai is once again making the Shinanju version Ka Master Raid decal. So for those people who didn't think you can get a hold of them, they're available again. Check the site and uh, you can uh, grab them for your Shinanju. And while we're talking about the Master Grade Shinanju, as if this beast of a kit wasn't enough, well, we also have to mention the titanium version. <laughs> and you thought this was a great kit? Like, look at this thing. It's a little pricey, but when you think of all the work that they had to do to get the uh, finish, extra finish on these things, like, Look at this color. Is that not the most gorgeous mm -hmm. color out of a box that you've ever seen? Yeah. I need to mention to everybody, these are not undergated. If it was undergated, this kit would be twice as expensive as it is. So you, you have to take what you get here. Mm -hmm. But what you get is that finish. And it is amazing. So be sure to check out the Shinanju. There's a reason it's number two. But uh, why isn't it number one? Well, we're going to look at that one next. Okay, it's that time. This is where I'm going to show my number one, my top master grade kit based on my experience building these things over the last few years i built a lot of them and this one still stands pretty tall and is number one and uh, it is i've mentioned this on the show before so you should know the master grade sword impulse gundam hey sid um I actually don't think I've seen this kit. Well, Ryan, you, I'm sure you're not uh, alone. For those people out there who are not familiar with the Sword Impulse Gundam, let me introduce you to my very special friend. This is a Sword Impulse Gundam. And just, just standing there like this, with the angles and the shoulder and the way the head is designed and those lo sexy legs, this is probably the best looking suit I've seen as ever in Gundam. To be honest, if you watch it when it shows up in the anime, it's great. When you actually get to build the uh, mastery of it, you, you love it all the more. So uh, we're, I'm not gonna show you what this kit can do. Like, I don't wanna take this kit apart. It's very dear to me and I've done all the decals. But what I will do is I'll show you what this kit comes with. So of course, you can see it comes with this backpack and it's got those swords on there. And you're gonna get all of the pieces you need to make the sword flyer and the sword silhouette, right? Well, of course, let's look at the weapons. Shield, gun, and this shield of course will transform when you start mounting things on right you get an extra piece for the back now if you want to take the uh, the backpack off and use it as a sword flyer silhouette you just slap this piece on in its stead and you can still use these the suit without a gaping hole in its back of course here's the other plane here this actually transforms and will fit inside of that Gundam and if you want to just pose this on its own well you have the stand Bandai is giving you the stand on top of that you're getting effect parts for the swords and for its arms here. And this actually goes on the end of the swords. You're getting extra hands if you want to mount the guns, want to hold on to the guns. And uh, I'm not going to take these out, but you also get all these little pieces, which are like the uh, landing gears for the planes here, like this. And uh, this could actually transforms into the leg, leg flyer and the chest flyer. And uh, while we don't have time on the show to show you that, we can show you how it looks in the manual right there. 
Just like in the anime, this kit can do everything. So if you've watched the anime and you're a fan of how the uh, sword impulse uh, transforms, moves, you can basically get this mastery kit to do all of those things. And you see on the internet, a lot of people are posing their, ma their uh, sword impulse mastery kit in the poses that you see in the anime, and it is able to pull them off without any problems. And a good example of that was our uh, winner in the beginner category who did the sword impulse Gundam. So, uh, sword impulse Gundam, number one, baby! So here they are, this is my choice for the top five Master Raid kits with the uh, Sword Impulse being number one. But uh, keep in mind that my opinion may change, you know, there's new Master Raid kits coming out every month and there's old ones that I have yet to build, but I'm more interested in hearing from you guys. What are your five top Master Raid kits? Let me know your top five in, in order from five to one. Leave a comment on Facebook, on YouTube, on Hobbylink TV. We're going to read them and I look forward to hearing your thoughts and maybe uh, learning about some Gundam I need to check out. So until next time, we'll see you later.